Today's the day our baby quail are going to hatch. And if you see in here, we've got a lot of them crawling around. I'm going to be pulling those ones out and giving room to the new ones that are still hatching. We did about 120 eggs. And we'll probably get about an 80 hatch. Right now we got one right there. Starting to come out of the egg. These guys, they just start trucking as soon as they get dried off. Chickens seem to be a little more sensitive. You don't want to be opening the lid so much. But these guys, they don't seem to have any trouble with the humidity loss when I open the lid. Also, right here, I've got a paper towel that I'll wet again um, before I shut the lid. Yeah, we've got a fan inside this incubator, so the the moist towel there will bring the humidity up right away with the wind blowing on it. Some of these empty eggs out of here. See how far those skeleton guys got in a couple seconds. Come along. Oh, looks like we got another one right here. Got the hatch. All right, we already pulled some out a couple minutes ago. I had to go get the camera. Anyway, we probably got about oh, almost 20 here, and I think we have almost 20 in the nursery. What I do is I put them in a nursery for a couple days, which is basically a tote with a light, and I got rocks in the water because they do seem to jump in the water and drown. Plus then the ones that don't drown just drag the water out all over the place. So here we go. Thing about raising quail is the food you give them has got to be a game feed. It's got to be 20% protein. Um, if it's not, they just don't stay strong enough and they die off real easy. So if you want to have a good success with quail, oh, game feed. There you go, little guy. Okay, now I'll cover this up and I'll cover this area here so I don't get so much heat escapement. Okay, so we've covered the top. And, uh, you know, they tell you that you, these guys wanted 100 and some degrees or 99.5 degrees in the incubator or in the nursery. And it's not, it's not 100% true. You don't need a heat lamp to keep these guys warm. They will find the warmest spot and they'll bundle up on top of each other to keep each other warm. So, and along with this coat hanging over there, it'll get around uh, 80 degrees over in the whole nursery here, but under the light they'll get all the heat they need. 